Well, Shelby, this time the charges are related to the cemetery scandal. Cedric McMillan was booked into Metro Jail just after 1 p.m. He's charged with three counts of corpse abuse. Meanwhile, court records are revealing more about charges facing funeral director Joseph Bonner. He was arrested Wednesday on the scene of the grave excavations at Heritage Memorial Gardens Cemetery in Pritchard. He's charged with two counts of abuse of a corpse. This is what Bonner had to say as he was leaving Metro Jail yesterday. It's, it's sad that families have to go through this. I think it's more law enforcement. They, uh, they said that there was no bodies in casket. They said that there were no caskets there. It was through the lies and motivation of them that we got to the point where those bodies had to be exhumed. And I think at some point that there should be some apology because I think um, law enforcement is more at, at fault for what happened yesterday. Court records show Bonner was arrested for the abuse of the corpses of Laquan Packer and Dorothy McGee. The documents state Bonner performed an improper burial and, quote, knowingly and willfully signed a certificate that he embalmed the bodies of Packer and McGee, even though they weren't embalmed properly. Once we get to the cemetery as a funeral director, that our uh, our duties end once the bodies interred. So I, I would have no, I had no reason to believe that I would be arrested because they say a vault wasn't sealed right or that a grave wasn't dug too deep. And, and I do not have any affiliation with the cemetery. McMillan, who the DA's office and the sheriff's office have been pretty tight-lipped about, is also implicated on court documents about McGee. It shows he's being charged with abuse of a corpse for McGee's burial and embalming. And Bonner's next court hearing is Tuesday. Shelby?